When God decides to open a door, no man can shut it, and when he shuts it, none can open it. Perhaps there are doors that the enemy has been using to enter life to wreak havoc and cause damage. God will shut those doors and put them off. The enemy will no longer have access to your life. Every loophole that they have crept through will be sealed off and you will become covered from the attack of the destroyer. The Lord has promised to be your refuge and fortress. He has promised to fight your battles for you, to put off those that are after your life and your destiny. You are his chosen one, the beloved of the Almighty, and he will not just stand by and watch the destroyer play hide and seek, coming in at will into your life. You are much too precious in the sight of God, and as such, he has invested so much in you. Your life itself is a wonder that the destroyer wants to take. The joy that you experience in the Lord is another precious gift that the enemy is targeting. The destroyer wants to destroy your family and leave you broken and helpless. He wants to enter into your finances and leave you empty and in lack. Most especially, he wants to destroy your relationship with God so he can have control over your life. But God will not let that happen. You are his temple, his dwelling place, and he won't allow anyone in without his permission. He is shutting the door effectively against them and keeping them out totally. If you have suffered any loss before, God is restoring those things back to you. Have no fear whatsoever. With God, you are safe and no power of the wicked one can touch you. You know that the devil has no other work to do in the life of a believer than to kill, steal and destroy. He is searching for the slightest opportunity to get in, going to and fro and seeking for someone to devour. Once he gets a chance, he sets to work using all the instruments he has to destroy that individual. He is the main destroyer that God is going to take out of your life and you will see every of his agents and forces disappear. That is why the Bible says we should not be ignorant of the devices of the devil, because once you give him a little, he will take a yard and in no time begin to control your life affairs. And how do you let him in? Many Christians have unknowingly opened the door of their hearts and subsequently their lives to the devil. It could start with a thought and then following up on that wicked thought. Any form of sin that you allow into your life is a form of invitation for the devil, and many have been taken hostage as a result. But all of that does not matter anymore. Christ came to set the captives free, to deliver all that are bound by the devil, to give beauty for ashes, and to restore order into the lives of men. Just as he cleared out the temple, of those that were buying and selling in the temple. He is equally bringing an end to the activities of the destroyer in your life. He is going to kick them out and they shall remain out of your life permanently. You will not see any trace of them any longer. All the sorrow and pain that you have experienced as a result of their presence in your life would be gone. And in their place, you will experience fullness of life unending joy and happiness. However, you must play your part in not giving the devil a chance in your life. God will not automatically come chasing the destroyers in your life if you are comfortable housing them. Submit yourself to God. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. That is what the Bible says. We are like precious seeds in the hand of the Almighty, and He has planted us here on earth. Inside of us lies many potentials, many beautiful things that He has invested, and the enemy is looking to corrupt these things. The Bible says that while men slept, the enemy came and sowed tears among the wheat. You might just start noticing things that used to be absent, suddenly creeping up in your life. It could be sickness, reduction in sales, loss of peace in your home, your child's rebellion, or one disaster or the other. All these are the workings of the destroyer 
in the life of an individual. They creep in on people while they are asleep and unaware. In order words, there is the need to become alert and vigilant. You should not be careless with your life. Yes, God will shut the doors against every destroyer, but you have to do your part to ensure they do not find their way in again. You will notice a turnaround in your situation when God keeps every destroyer out of it. Where there has been chaos previously, peace will be restored in your home. Where you have been experiencing one form of difficulty or the other, there will be ease of access for you. The destroyer will be sent far away from your life and you will not experience any form of loss or trouble anymore. Instead of one problem or the other, your life will become filled with God's testimonies. Those potentials he has put inside of you will find expression and you will have a good reason to glorify God. There is no place for poverty anymore, no place for barrenness, no place for sorrow and unhappiness. All you begin to see is God working wonders in your life and excluding the enemy completely. They will only watch from afar and see how the Lord blesses you, but they will be unable to touch you because they have no access to your life. They are destroyers that have been assigned to people's life and they focus on different areas, but the end is to see that person ruined. Are you facing problems with your finances? Do you work all day and have nothing to show for it? Are your efforts not commensurate with the results you are seeing? Does everything you have seem to be going down and you just can't account for it? That is the destroyer at work in your finances. Their work is to eat up everything you have worked for and eventually leave you in a state of lack and penury. But God will not allow that to happen. He is your shepherd and you cannot lack. You will begin to experience a revival in your business. You will find that even the little you earn is more than enough for you because it will be blessed by the Lord. You will not just keep working for nothing. One of the ways to hasten the shutting of doors against the destroyer in your finances is by paying your tithes and offerings. God says he will open the windows of heaven and not just that alone, he will also destroy the devourer for your sake. The canker worm and the palmer worm that are eating away at your resources will be removed. God will destroy them from your life and guard you round about such that they will have no means of entering into your life anymore. Your barns will be filled with plenty, and as you earn, you spend it on things that matter rather than from one sickness or emergency. Instead of your resources to dwindle, you will start experiencing a boom. Perhaps yours is in your marriage, and the destroyer is eating up the peace and the joy you share with your spouse. God will deal with that destroyer first and then shut them out of your life forever. You will see your marriage restored and whole. You will experience a wonderful life with your spouse and your family. All those rocky situations will now become plain and you will find it easy to navigate things. Let your mind be at rest because you have God on your side and if God is for us, who can be against us? Who dares stand against the counsel of God? Or who is that person that will open the door when God has shut it? No one, not even the devil would try. In essence, you have become untouchable and secure in the almighty God. Let nothing trouble you. You have every reason to be glad and to rejoice because you have the King of glory dwelling inside your life. Light and darkness cannot dwell together. So darkness can no longer be a part of your story anymore. Destruction and abundance are not likely pairs, and so there is no room for destruction in your life anymore. Anyone or anything that has been causing you to lose favor in the sight of people will be overturned. They will have their counsel turned against them. They will be thrown out of your life forcefully and you will find things working out for your good. 
Divine health will replace sickness. You will have wealth in place of poverty. Joy overflowing will be your portion as every sorrow will be taken out of your life. It is going to be goodness all around. God's mercies following and guiding you. All you have to do is pray and invite God into every situation of your life. Once God is involved, your case is settled. The Egyptians, problems and challenges that you see in your life today, you shall see them no more. God is bringing an end to them perpetually. Glory.